Hello there, it's Monday the 23rd, I'm FX Plue and this is the Market Brief. So Sunak's due to announce a 12-month spending plan this week. Um, it aims to provide a little bit more clarity and also to calm concerns over how he plans to pay for all this Covid support. Um, it is pretty clear he'll need to raise taxes at some point in the next couple of years, but the government has been at pains to confirm there will be no return to austerity. Um, apparently £3 billion will be made immediately available to the NHS, allowing for it to catch up with procedures that were delayed by COVID-19 and of course to replace some uh, equipment as well. Um, the spending review will be published on Wednesday. Coincidentally, that's my birthday, but I'm not expecting Sunak to send any cheeky little birthday bonus my way. More's the pity. Um, Boris is due in Parliament today. Uh, he's due to outline the post-lockdown plans, having confirmed that we will indeed end lockdown on December the 2nd as planned. Um, he is aiming for Christmas to be as normal as possible, so retail should reopen for the holiday season and that should provide a much needed boost for the sector. Um, Last week in the market, Sterling posted pretty slow and steady gains um, against some pretty regular selling pressure. Uh, Brexit is, of course, still expected to be the catalyst of any real move higher, but we kick off the new week um, up around about 133.25 against the US dollar and around 112.25 against the euro. Meanwhile, over in the US, manuskin has been on. Um, he's been playing the, the pantomime villain. Oh, no, he hasn't. Oh, yes, he has, uh, because he said that he'll allow the rest of the federal support packages to end as and when they expire between now and December the 31st. Boo hiss, your boo sucks. Um, but as the High Court in Pennsylvania um, has thrown out Trump's case, uh, Mnuchin's move has been seen as an attempt to cause as much difficulty to the incoming Biden admi administration as possible. Um, indeed, I've even heard a parallel drawn between this and Saddam Hussein torching the Kuwaiti oil wells as his troops retreated from the first Gulf War. Not sure if the parallel is, is valid. Um, but the bigger issue here is why Pennsylvania missed an absolute belter. As far as I can see, there was no suggestion that they felt that the claims of voter fraud had been trumped up. Anyway, I'm here all week. Um, it looks like dear old Donald will finally have to concede and prepare to move out of the White House. Keep an eye on that one this week. Um, the euro has been pretty resilient in the face of both the pandemic and the ongoing budget issues with the EU. Euro dollar touched 118.95 last week and we kick off the new week starting from 118.75. Right, that's it from me. Have a wonderful Monday. Hope your week kickstarts uh, with all the strength you deserve. And please do join me again tomorrow. All the best. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue. Yeah.